And a day after, the Kim Trump summit is still dominating the headlines. Of course, the headlines are different depending on where you are because countries don't see the meeting the same way. Our EG1, who is part of our special coverage team in Singapore, looks at how the summit was covered by reporters from around the world. As a historic moment in history, the Kim Jong-un Trump summit attracted huge attention from the press with three major media centers set up in Singapore. But just like different countries have different stakes in the summit, the international media have taken different views of it and highlighted different things. Many in the Chinese media are very positive about this summit. Their main focus was the denuclearization program. Since China is a neighbor of both Koreas and a possible nuclear bomb or a war is very threatening to China as well. True, while it was light on details, I think this represents an overall positive uh, in U.S. North Korea relations with really, which haven't existed before. Japanese media, including NHK and Nihon Geizai Shimbun, focused on the abductee issue that was mentioned at the summit, according to President Trump. They expressed hope that the issue would be resolved and how important it is to Japan's prime minister, who is facing political problems at home. But there were also media skeptical of the result as well. The Washington Post reported that the summit was a huge success for the North Korean leader, claiming that President Trump made huge concessions to Kim. CNN focused on the military pullback Trump had mentioned as something he would do in the future. Quoting experts, CNN said the move was a unilateral decision that alarmed America's allies, namely South Korea and Japan. And there were also many divided reports on the summit from media within the same country. One is South Korea, one of the greatest stakeholders in the latest developments. The series of rapid diplomatic changes is unprecedented and it cannot be understood in the framework of the past. So many South Korean reporters seem to have had difficulty dissecting the summit and the different political colors their media have could come into play when they look at these events. While many South Korean media were positive and hopeful about the results of the summit, some also raised concerns about Trump's military pullback and skepticism about why North Korea's denuclearization has not been spelled out with the phrase completely, verifiably and irreversibly. Many in the global media have pointed out that lack of detail and vague wording. But with efforts to implement the deal to start soon, we'll find out whether this was because the two leaders trust each other, as Trump says, or it was because they disagreed. Lee Ji-won, Arirang News, Singapore.